Today I'd like to give you a summary of the battalion activities for the 3rd Battalion, 12th Infantry Regiment, 4th Infantry Division, when it served in Vietnam on May 1st of 1968. The 3rd Battalion, 12th Infantry had actually arrived in Vietnam in late 1966 and had served on the coastal areas near Tuy Hoa uh, before moving up into the Central Highlands in April of 1967. May of 1968 finds the battalion stationed primarily in the ridge of mountains southwest of Doc To, nicknamed Rocket Ridge. Uh, there are several fire bases in this mountain range. Uh, the two primary fire bases that we're going to talk about today are Firebase 5 and Firebase 6. The battalion headquarters is located atop Hill 1338, um, approximately here. The hill named, uh, of course, for its elevation in meters. Um, this hill had been taken actually by the 3rd of the 12th in November of 1967 during the Battle of Docto uh, and then continuously occupied uh, by different American units from that time up until May. The battalion moved there in uh, mid-April, um, but we're going to pick up the story here on May 1st. So on May 1st, the battalion is spread uh, pretty far apart. The battalion headquarters is here at Fire Support Base 5, um, along with the Reconnaissance Platoon and half of the Mortar Platoon, as well as the Direct Support Artillery Battery for the 3rd Battalion 12th Infantry the Bravo Battery 6th of the 29th Field Artillery, uh, armed with 105 millimeter howitzer uh, cannons, approximately five of them uh, located here at Fire Support Base 5. So those are the elements here, as well as one of the four line companies of the 3rd of the 12th, Charlie Company. Charlie Company is gonna be uh, designated in blue uh, for these maps. So this blue circle represents the headquarters for Charlie Company. The black represents all of those other units, including the headquarters of 3rd of the 12th. So other than Charlie Company, which is primarily located here, they also had one platoon of Charlie Company stationed at a small uh, hilltop called Razorback or the, called the Flash Base. Just a simple platoon, night defensive position, uh, bunkers, but no artillery. And this position was mainly used to look out at the northern facing slopes of Rocket Ridge to report any flashes from MVA rockets being fired from firing positions on the north side towards Docto to the northeast. So Charlie Company is uh, here at Fire Support Base 5 as well as a single platoon here at uh, the Razorback or Flash Base. Alpha Company designated in red for these maps is stationed at Fire Support Base 6 and is the primary element there. Uh, Bravo Company, uh, also at Fire Support Base 6, on this day makes a combat assault, uh, which is this white. Uh, Bravo is going to be designated in white. So Bravo Company makes a combat assault around midday down to a uh, night defensive position to the southwest, and we'll get to that. Um, the fourth element is Delta Company, which is designated in green. And they were out in the field, not at a fire support base, but out uh, along the southern, the southern slopes of Rocket Ridge. And uh, we'll get to them. The other uh, color you see here is gold or yellow, and that is the reconnaissance pl platoon or elements of the reconnaissance platoon. The headquarters of the reconnaissance platoon would be located here at Fire Support Base 5. So that's the layout of this uh, ridge line. As you can see, it's a uh, by the contour lines, extremely steep in, in areas, stretching roughly 20 kilometers from northwest to southeast. Uh, and again, Docto is about six kilometers to the north, up just north of here. So what happened on May 1st of 1968? Well, a lot of moving pieces happen every day that an infantry battalion is in the field in Vietnam. And so we'll just kind of go through the logs that I retrieved from the National Archives, and I'll, I'll 
tell you about kind of who moved first and, and walk you through the day. So the first thing that occurs uh, early in the day is uh, Charlie Company 3rd Platoon, which is the platoon, platoon occupying the flash base, send out, sends out, actually it doesn't send out, it has one patrol that spent the night in a night de defensive position right here atop Hill 1089. And uh, there's, a, there's two hilltops, uh, Hill 1089 and Hill 1124, that, that um, get some pretty heavy use by the battalion. Very significant points along this northern side uh, of the ridge complex. So uh, 3rd Platoon of Charlie Company, patrol number one, starts moving right around 8 in the morning. And they start moving back towards the firebase. Uh, the next thing that happens is Recon Platoon, Apache 4, located just a few hundred meters to the east of them, also begins moving, heading west, and eventually going to return to Fire Support Base 5. Uh, Apache 1, um, which was uh, overnighted on the fire base, sets off right around 8.15 this morning, or that morning, and takes kind of a northerly route uh, towards their, their eventual night defensive position. Now, a note about these Apache teams. Uh, Apache teams consisted of roughly five to six um, reconnaissance soldiers. They were the long-range surveillance or recon assets of the battalion usually operate in these small small groups, five to six uh, soldiers. Their job is just to um, move through the area, seek out the MVA, but not engage, if, if at all possible, and report back on what they find. Uh, the next element that begins to move is an Alpha Company patrol, Alpha Company patrol number two, which was located, uh, actually Alpha Company two was on the flash or on the fire support base and they around 815 start to move out on their day's patrol now these these company patrols that are being sent sent out i don't know exactly what the composition was on each of them but they could have been as little as six soldiers just like those apache recon teams so they they called these short range patrols Sometimes they would go out as little as six, sometimes larger. Sometimes they'd go out as a larger group, and at some point they would split. Uh, but I, I really don't know based on the log. So we're just going to assume that each one of these is smaller than a platoon size element. So a platoon would be anywhere from 20 to 30 soldiers, maybe 40 if, if they're running really high, um, you know, high numbers for that day. But each of these patrols is probably about six soldiers. Uh, and of course, to kind of go over the map, I should have done this in the beginning. Each one of these squares is one kilometer square. So the length and the width, although this map is stretched a little bit, so it doesn't look like a perfect square, but they are perfect one kilometer squares. So one kilometer wide, one kilometer tall. So Alpha Company patrol number two sets off from the fire base, headed north along this finger, and eventually down to the valley floor. Charlie Company, third platoon. Uh, sends out another patrol headed east. So this is pretty common for this uh, flash base. As one patrol would start to make their way back, another patrol would kind of head out. And so the second patrol starts to head east into this kind of lowlands area. Um, the map features here, basically this green is supposed to represent thick or vegetation, whereas the light or whitish cream is supposed to um, represent less vegetation but there's just no way to know exactly where or how thick i would say that the majority of what you see here was extremely thick vegetation uh, next thing that happens is alpha company number three uh, patrol number three also departs their fire support base and they are headed uh, east again down to the valley floor but eventually they're going to end up up in a night defensive position along the ridge line. Um, some check-ins from Recon uh, Apache 1 and Apache 4 as they move through. Each of these dots that you see represented is a, a radio check-in that they made to the battalion staff here at the fire base to, to let them know what their position was. Sometimes these were relayed, perhaps for Alpha Company. They would send their report to the Alpha Company uh, headquarters element at, at Fire Support Base 6 and that would then be relayed to the battalion command uh, here at Fire Support Base 5. 
Um, Charlie Company uh, Patrol Number Two, which is here, actually started its day here uh, along this northern kind of finger off of the eastern ridge. It starts to move down and begin its day's patrol. Charlie Company Patrol Number Three leaves the fire base at about nine o'clock and heads west. Alpha Company, uh, patrol number one, which had overnighted atop this little hilltop uh, just northwest of the firebase, makes their way back and enters the firebase at about 9.20 in the morning. So short day for them, but they had a, I'm sure, uh, late night or, or a restless night out here on this hilltop all by themselves. So they make their way safely back onto the firebase. Alpha Company, patrol number two, uh, checks in. Patrol number three checks in, and patrol number four departs the firebase, uh, headed southwest down an extremely steep uh, southern face of this ridgeline, and eventually down in, onto the valley floor. Some check-ins by uh, Charlie Company, patrol number one, which is here. Uh, they had left the fire support base, and Charlie Company, patrol number three, which is getting further away from the fire support base, and at this point, at 9.10 in the morning, an artillery preparation has begun for the combat assault of Bravo Company. So that artillery support is coming from guns located here at Fire Support Base 5 and here at Fire Support Base 6. And then another Fire Support Base located just to the northwest. Um, I think Fire Support Base 3 is what it was designated. So all three of those start to launch artillery or fire artillery into the landing zone here. Uh, at this little teeny uh, terrain feature in the corner, which they refer to as the dog bone. And that's just general shape is of a dog bone. So at 9.10, that artillery barrage starts. Um, and it doesn't say exactly when, but you can assume that, that as that artillery is, is kicking off, the first helicopters are being loaded with Bravo Company soldiers here, and they're going to land soon after that artillery barrage stops. So 910 artillery barrage is, is going off. Charlie Company patrol number two checks in somewhere out, out over here. Alpha Company patrol number two checks in. Um, they're getting further away from the fire support base. Recon Apache one and Apache two. I'm sorry, Apache one and Apache four check in. Apache four is on their way back to the fire support base. Apache one is moving away from the fire support base. And at 935, the first lift of Bravo Company lands on the peanut with a cold landing zone, a cold LZ, no hostile fire, uh, no issues. So at 9.35, the first lift is on the ground. So that artillery barrage that started at 9.10 probably lasted for about 15, 20 minutes and then ceased. First birds on the ground at 9.35. By 9.40, three, six sorties of Bravo Company are into the LZ. By 9.55, 10 sorties uh, of Bravo Company are in, and by and at 10 hundred hours, gunships spot two individuals crossing a stream, stream south of this position. Now, I don't have it on the map here, but the, this, the stream, uh, actually, there's another stream right down here. And so those, those uh, gunships that were supporting the combat assault spot two individuals south of the landing zone and take them under fire. Um, Recon Apache number one moves further away. Recon Apache number three starts to move. They've at this up to this point at 10 o'clock in the morning, they had not started to move yet, and now they do, and they're headed back to the fire support base. And at 10:10, the last sortie of Bravo Company is on the ground, and the helicopters that brought them are there are released for other duties. So now Bravo Company is on the ground on the dog bone. At 10.20, we have check-ins from the three Charlie Company patrols, two, one, and three. Delta Company, which up to this point had been stationary, begins to move at about 10.30, headed east along this ridge line. They're eventually going to make their way down and south onto the valley floor. Alpha Company has some check-ins between 10.40 and 10 and 11 o'clock. Uh, patrols two, three and four all check in. Of course, one is already back at the uh, back at the fire base. Uh, Recon Apache one checks in. Apache three checks in as well. 
moving. Let's see, this grid coordinate puts them. Mm, Apache 3, they check in. It puts them right here at 996.134. So this is a very tight uh, ridge line. They're kind of moving along it, eventually going to head back to the FSB. Apache 4 checks in at 975.159. Again, so they have gone down into this ravine, uh, to the stream, probably refilled their canteens, and then headed back up the other side and have started to climb again to get up to that 1338 elevation that they need to get to in order to get back to the fire support base. Uh, next check-ins are more Charlie Company check-ins, which uh, patrols one, two, and three uh, check-in. And uh, Charlie Company one, uh, patrol number one, which is this one right here, which is headed out at about 11.30. It actually uh, meets up with Apache 3, which is headed back. And it says that the two units linked up. It doesn't say what they did, but, uh, you know, probably pass out, you know, pass some intelligence along. What did they see? Any tracks, any trails, anything of interest? Uh, and then they part ways. Apache 3 headed back towards the FSB. Charlie 1 headed further away. Uh, 11.20 to 11.35, we have... Uh, Alpha Company 2, 3, and 4 all check in. And at 11.35, Delta Company checks in. Their first check in at 949.169. They have made their way to this uh, finger that juts out to the southwest, and they're getting ready for this big descent down onto the valley. Uh, more Charlie Company check ins and recon check ins. And then back to Alpha Company, basically the next hour is spent with every every unit checking in. Um, Charlie Company, patrol number one, which, uh, let's see, Charlie Company, patrol number one, which had left the FSB earlier in the morning, arrives at their night defensive position at about 12.08 and checks in and set, starts to set up their, their NDP for the day. Alpha Company, patrol number four checks in again. And this time they're at 917-192. So 917-192 outside this little hilltop, six, hilltop 682. Uh, and then they begin to make their return trip to the FSB. They're not going to stay out overnight tonight. They're just going to head back. Uh, next check-ins are Recon Platoon, uh, Apache 3 and Apache 4. Uh, Apache 3, both of those Apache units are moving back to the FSB. Um, Apache 1 checks in again. It's getting closer to their night defensive position, but not quite there yet. And at about 1325, Apache 3, which had started out here, closes the fire support base, and their day is done. Delta Company moves further away, uh, down into the River Valley. Uh, they're located at 942160, about right here. So not quite down to their lowest elevation. Uh, but getting there. Apache 4 checks in again, getting very close to the fire support base. They are at 982151, about here. So just closing the distance there. Alpha Company 2, 3, and 4 all check in. And the two Charlie Company 3rd uh, Platoon patrols also check in. And uh, patrol number 1 is getting extremely close to the fire support base. They are here, just at the, the, the base of the northern face of this ridge, about ready to get down to the water, uh, probably refill their canteens, and then head back up to the same elevation that the flash base is at. Uh, the patrol two for third platoon is way out here at 982196. So they have kind of reached the, uh, the northern and eastern uh, extent of their patrol route. And now they're going to start to head back into the ridge complex and find their night defensive position. Uh, at about 1540, or 13, in between 1335 and 15, 1540, uh, Charlie Company Patrol Number Two establishes their night defensive location right here. Their day, uh, well, their their walking day is done. Their day is not done. Um, they dig in for the night, I'm sure. Alpha Company checks in again. Their patrols 2, 3, and 4 are still on the move. Apache 4 ends their day by checking into the fire support base at about 15, uh, 1345. Apache 1 
uh, reaches the knight defensive position that they are going to take up at about 1350. And Alpha Company begins to check in again. Their patrols 2, 3, and 4 are still on the move. Delta Company makes it a little bit further away and checks in at 940166. So 940166, right at this intersection of these streams. Um, and they begin to move west, where they eventually will set up an NDP. Um, Alpha Company checks in again. Charlie Company, uh, third platoon, patrol number one checks in to the flash base so they have finished their patrol route for the day and when they get there they report a finding and so the finding that they report is at 964191 no i'm sorry that's the uh, grid for the flash base um at 9621899 roughly here they find uh, a trail running northeast and fresh sandal tracks, two to three days old, estimated to be three men. And, uh, you know, the sandal tracks are are definitely something that they would look out for because all the American soldiers and most of the Arvin soldiers uh, in the area would wear combat boots, whereas the NVA or VC would wear sandal type shoes. Um, so something happened in Delta Company. And let's see. So at 940166, 940166, they came to a halt because they had two men suffering from non battle uh, injuries. This happened a lot uh, in the Vietnam War. Men were, uh, you would get injured just from the hiking, the moving, the patrolling. And so at, at 1450, they call in, Delta Company calls in a de dust off uh, for one man with pulled cartilage and one man with a hernia. And that dust off is complete at 1450. Um, at 1544, so kind of a quiet little a bit, but 1544, Charlie Company, um, third platoon, patrol number two, which left from the flash base earlier than the day, checks into their night defensive position here. Uh, very close to uh, Hill 1089 and Hill 1124, actually just a little bit west of it. Uh, Alpha Company uh, patrol number three um, checks in to their night defensive position. So basically their route brought them uh, to this point and then they scouted a little bit northwest along the ridge and then doubled back and found a uh, night defensive position at Hill 1021. Alpha Company Patrol number three. Oh, that is Alpha Company Patrol number three. I'm sorry. Uh, patrol number four closes the flash base at about 1555. And um, at 1715, the battalion notes the night locations of all units that are outside the wire. Uh, it also notes uh, the, the units that are inside the wire. But basically what we've got for this night is we've got all the same units still located here at Fire Support Base uh, 5. We have one patrol of Charlie Company way down here, uh, set up in a night defensive position. We have another patrol of Charlie Company set up here. We have a, another Charlie Company patrol, this time from 3rd Platoon, set up here for the night. We have one Apache uh, recon team set up here for the night. Um, Alpha Company, we have patrol number two has set up here for the night. And patrol number three has set up here for the night. Delta Company, which arrives at its night defense position here, uh, sends out three ambush patrols. So an ambush patrol is another small, very small uh, unit that is basically sets up in a spot where hopefully they can catch the MVA walking into an ambush. And so three ambush patrols are set out along this trail system, which you can see by this hashed line. Here's the first one, the second one on this trail that runs west east, and the third one uh, at this trail junction where this north-south trail and this western trail meet. Bravo Company also sets out uh, a ambush patrol to the east side of the dog bone. And that is basically the day of May 1st. So this is a pretty typical day in the Central Highlands uh, for the 3rd of the 12th. A lot of moving pieces, um, no contact to speak of. Uh, there was the 
two uh, individuals spotted south of the dog bone that were engaged by artillery and gunships. There were some tracks found here on the um, Charlie Company 3rd Platoon patrol route. But other than that, that was it. Of course, Delta Company had two non-battle injuries evacuated via dust-off right here. So that is it. That is the uh, kind of look at what May 1st, 1968 looked like uh, for the 3rd of the 12th Infantry. And uh, of course, this is very uh, special to me as an individual because my wife's uncle uh, was a platoon medic in Delta Company. And so looking back at his letters home um, and, and knowing that he was here, he was one of these guys in this green circle. And this was the this is where he walked on May 1st of 1968. And uh, he most likely was not on one of the ambush patrols because they were usually smaller. And he being a medic would have stayed with the main unit. Um, some other units that are mentioned uh, this in this uh, day's report is an Avenger gunship. That is the one that covered the combat assault and, and spotted the two people crossing. Um, mentioned by name is the Bravo Company uh, Company commander, which was Captain Hennessy. And that is about that's about it for the, the things to note about May 1st, 1968. Appreciate your um, patience as we walk through that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked what you heard. You want me to go further in depth? I'm just kind of trying these out, and uh, I'd like some feedback. Thank you.